As KFM 95.9, they have not been in my radar for uh, quite some time. And I'm talking about Benchmark. They dropped an album last week. But before we get to the making of the album, I suppose the big question is, where have you guys been and what have you guys been up to? Welcome. Yeah, and and I suppose we had this conversation about street culture and how hip hop. I mean, you know, yesteryear had hip hop completely immersed in street culture. Mm -hmm. You know, is that still happening? Is that still vibing? Yes. Is that still a thing? Yeah, it still is, but it's a different time now. You know, yeah. and 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 right now, like I mean, you can flourish on the net, and that's where the streets are now, in yeah. a way. Like the streets are digital, like yeah, very digital right now. So yeah. you can push over there, and you can make a name for yourself, and then. Whoever picks up at the top, they pick up. You know, yeah. as long as you're pushing. Yeah. So yeah, that's. But what is the right revenue now. like on streams? Because I've had a couple of musicians that say, "I tricky. streams don't." Streams are tricky. They nah. don't bring in the guab the you way know, you hope they it would. It depends, though. There, yeah. There's some people who actually get yeah. a lot of money from streams, yeah. and yeah. then there's some people who ain't getting enough money from streams, sure. but they're getting money from shows. Yeah. Mm. Right now, it's all about shows, endorsements. Like, music is a business at the end yeah. of the day, so I feel like you shouldn't just rely on streams and the music. Rely on everything within yeah. the music. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I suppose it's a, it's, a, it's a huge, huge balancing act. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So when you guys separated from your record label, mm -hmm. yeah. um, I think it was unceremonious with everybody that separates <laughs> from record labels, I suppose. Yeah. You know, um, how did that affect to your creativity and even I don't want to say confidence but for a lack of a better word we'll use that I would okay? say I would say sorry for yeah. calling you there I would say actually being outside of the label built the confidence yeah. Yeah. but right. inside of the label it was a terrible thing for like our your creativity you know not creativity. even like almost everything actually let me let sure. me just be honest with you yeah it was very very like bad you know what you I mean? didn't yeah. even want to make music yeah no more because you, felt like, you feel like ah nah you know what I mean? No way. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You so know? The, the, the cushion, I mean, a lot of people, when they signed to labels, it's because there's some cushion. You know, um, you don't have to dig in your pockets yeah, um, true. Um, Which all is the, the biggest time. Thing. Um, and uh, you always have someone else pushing. So either than your road manager and your own manager, yeah. someone at the label is pushing. So that cushion, it didn't feel like you were losing ground of some sort? You know, like, rather lose that than lose yourself, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. So hence we left. And... You know, when it comes to record label, like people, you don't just get into a record label without knowing what's up. We sure. knew what we were getting ourselves into, you know. So we knew when we wanted to leave, why we leaving and what we're going to do after that. Mm. So we already planned everything, yeah. you know. Yeah. So you must educate yourself if you want to get into this music business. Don't just do it. Yeah. 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 And, and, and highlight music business because I feel like there's a lot of talented artists also that just say, okay, I'm talented and that's what I'm relying on. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. But then don't nobody is like gonna like hold your hand. Yeah. You still have to be an adult and you still have to find your own way. Sure. But also equip yourself with the knowledge of the business. Yeah, I mean, you, know you can't I mean? just be the superstar when everybody else is looking at you and they're like, yeah, hey, yeah. I can make money here and you are just in the stew, exactly. cooking and cooking you and cooking and everybody else now is making money. The problem off you. is uh, with people like that, after 10, 15 years, now you're old, you got kids, you have a family, now you start complaining yeah. after 15 years. Yeah. Hey, I don't, I don't have enough money. Yo, the record label screwed me over. Mm. They didn't even read the contracts. Yeah. Now people are dying without money. Sure. You know, sometimes we blame the record label, sometimes we blame the artist. I think it's like a two-way thing. Yeah. Yeah. I blame you and I blame you. You mm. knew what you were getting yourself into, yeah. you know, because you wanted quick fame, yeah. quick money. Because labels then it do does put come you in. on. It yeah. does come. I know, the quick fame with yeah. the label yeah. definitely does come. And in. that's what I'm saying, labels do put you on. Yeah. You can't yeah. just say, nah, you know, the label they and didn't this work. and that. No, yeah. they put you on on a certain level. Sure. As to how you do it after, that's on you. Yeah, yeah. You know? true. But you have to, like, equip yourself with the knowledge, man. Yeah. Like, make sure. So, obviously, it's been a couple of years, well, quite a few years, you guys crafting music, doing music. What would you say that these are some of the things that I learned to do even post the cushion? So every time we talk about the cushion, we're talking mm -hmm. about the label. Yes. So post the cushion because um, when you look at some of the industry people, it's like if their first 
induction into the music industry is the record label. Mm -hmm. Then there is sort of some lexation that happens with the actual business side of things. But once they break free, they realize that, yes, this thing is hard work. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so what have you learned since, or you know, at least post you know the thing is, before the label, we were, yeah. we were still pushing mm. as, as benchmark sure. in the hood. You know, we travel to Joburg Valley, drop our CDs and whatnot. So we actually know what's going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So hence we went out there to get like that push because we can see, hey, doing these things on my own, it doesn't make yeah, sense. Two feet don't yeah, help. Yeah. 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 It doesn't make sense. So after that, went to the label, boom, benchmark was out there. Yeah. But now, you know, you feel some type of way. You have mm. a boss now. You have somebody who's telling you, do this, do that. That don't sound say is that not working. Yeah, don't say that on the song. Then next thing you're depressed, you know what I mean? You want to yeah. leave and do your own thing. But now, after leaving, we know everything. Now we know about PR people. Mm -hmm. Now we know about um, radio sampling, you mm -hmm. know? But before the label, we didn't know about that, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, and I suppose for me, that that's where I want to go. You know, the a and of music is what creates repetitiveness in all huge media platforms, yeah. right? So how do you do it now? How do you do it now? Who is doing all the, that work for you to make sure that your sound is right for radio? Because radio is like an autopilot or even yeah. TV, it's an autopilot. You do it once, you press play, yeah. your song is on rotation, you go, Samro, your SMS every two minutes, yeah. ding, ding, 50 <laughs> rand paid into your account, <coughs> ding, ding, five million paid into your account, yeah. you know. You don't have to then like service it anymore. What I'm, what I'm, what I'm going to say is now I picked up that we were learning before we went to the label, learning during the label, which was also a big part of like the information that we sure. got so that we can move after the label, yeah. right? And then we're still learning now, yeah. you know what I mean? But okay, main thing is that a team is important, right? Yeah. But then besides that, the music part of making sure Horo Kesha, this is good for radio, this yeah. is what, what, that's on the artist as well. Yeah. yeah. That's on the artist as well. And after that, now you have to know who's this. Is there samplers there? Mm. Who's the sampler this? Who mm. does this? Who takes the music to the radio stations? Sure. And puts them in. How much do they want? Mm. And who wants what? Wants? Don't you ever pay I mean? for music to be listed no, listen, on radio. Listen, I'm, 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 being, I'm being raw about this 100%. because that's what it is. Sure. That's, that's the business. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because sometimes when you... Uh, go to these uh, organizations and you present yourself as an artist, like they don't take you seriously. Yeah, another thing, right, uh, via in yeah. terms of some radio samplers, right? You would get uh, a new DJ with the song. The song has like um, two maybe famous acts sure. on the song. Yeah. So you, uh, they submit the song. The sampler is going to be on some, okay, who's this guy? Mm. You know but the song is nice. <laughs> why are you also asking, wh why do you care about who's this guy? Yeah. Play the music. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. The problem is that, ah, as much look, we are not going to play. Mm. That's the thing. So hence, the artists now rely on this sampler type of stuff. Yeah. You know? So as somebody can Total. represent them, and then say, hey, I got this song, yeah. put yeah. it on. You know? Because I, I, I think we, th this conversation has happened in media quite a lot yeah. of, uh, what do you guys call it? Payola, um, <laughs> there we go. Yes, um, yes, the, 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 this conversation around Payola has happened a lot. Yeah. Um, but what, what I want to understand is how do you get around it? You know, do you just give in into the payola, um, whatever, you know? Do you just give in or do you then say, no, I'm going to choose the high road. Yeah. If Kevin wants to play my song, yeah. I have sent it to them. Yeah. I've called them. Yeah. I've asked Homozo, hey, did you hear my joint? Yeah. Are you going to drop it? Yeah. You've done the work. Yeah. From there on, I leave or... Because you've put so much work into that song, yeah. if somebody wants Biola, you are now willing to play around in this nightmare situation. Sometimes uh, fame is a drug. You yeah. Know? Some people give up too All the easy. time. Yes. <laughs> people give up too easily, or some people, they don't have the knowledge. You just go to, um, let's say, for example, you come to Kaya FM. Sure. And then you meet up with someone. Someone is going to be on some, ah, give me 10K, boy. I'll play. <laughs> like, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> and you also some, take it their yeah. word for it, by yeah, the way, yes. that they will rotate you try, it that you try, way. Because yeah. you you're not going to listen to Kaya 24 hours yeah. a day. Yeah. So you don't even know that yeah. what you're paying for yeah. actually happens. And as, on, like, as I've seen also throughout this time now that we've been doing this yeah. relationships are key 100 yeah. that's that's just what it is in this yeah. game it's people it's not about your talents not about 
even sometimes not even money because sometimes people don't even want your money yeah. sometimes you just, need on you just need to yeah. be there you yeah. need to be present you need to actually have actual human relationships yeah. with these people yeah. sometimes you'll be getting through the game like that yeah. oh no let's go out i'm cool with that person i got you yeah. i got yeah. you yeah. you know that's how it works sometimes but if you don't have a relationship gotta dig into the pocket and sometimes it doesn't even guarantee you anything. It guarantees it, nothing. You know what I mean. Yeah. So, like, I would say <laughs> also, if you want to go around the whole payola thing, so he called maybe. it payola. Don't say you didn't hear that he called it payola. <laughs> the payola so, thing, I like so, that. So, so if you if you want to go around that a bit, maybe you could just build relationships. Yeah, and, and and I suppose with every single thing that is key, you need to build. Yeah, they're like your little landmines everywhere. Yes. You know, when you need yes. it to explode, it will explode. In, yeah. in, 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 Have in, 10 people on speed dial. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Okay, so you guys dropped an album last week. Yes, Tell us about that. Power Trip. Power Iron, Trip, that's which right. Which basically says PTA, which yeah. is very dope. Yeah. That's what we represent, you know. Yeah. Um, PTA actually is a series. It's part of a series that we, we started back in 2011. Yeah. yeah. The first EP we dropped at that time was, yeah, Power Trip EP, uh, which did well. I think there was one song from that project that went onto uh, radio and stuff like that. So we were just amped up now, for like, hey, let's Good keep morning, going. Yeah. Yeah. So we dropped, in 2014, we dropped uh, the second Power Trip, <coughs> Power Trip uh, EP. We called it Power Trip 1 EP. Right, and then in between that, obviously, it was other things like experimental projects we did, like uh, the Aspen series, mm -hmm. which is Aspen One, Aspen Two, and then yeah, there was throwaway things also in the midst of that, and also our debut album, we had hope. Yeah. But now, after all that, we kind of like wanted to, you know, jump into the time machine yeah. with our with our gang gang. That's yeah. who we call our fans because yeah. fans is like a bit impersonal. Yeah. So we call them gang gang. Yeah. So we're like, you know what, we're going to go into the time machine with them. And some people do miss that and they see it on social media. Yo, yeah. we miss XLR because that's also the name of our company and the name of our production name. You know what I mean? So we used to produce back in the day and stuff. So now they're saying they miss that. They miss this. They miss that. But now sometimes you can be like, okay, you know what, I'll give you that. But with what I've learned now, yeah. you know? So that's so, what we did. We just take them back. So did you do the power trip now? Well, the, this will be the third installment, right? Did you do power trip now because you kind of went back to where you started? Was that the reason you did it? Because now you're outside of the shell. You've done like a and now you feel like um, let's just remind people exactly where we started and get inspiration from that and then build up from there. I think uh, Power Trip was actually supposed to be our first album. Ah. So true, true, um, true. we just left the, the label, right? Mm. So one of our friends was like, yo, why don't you call it We Had Hope? Because you guys are still pushing, you never stopped. Mm. So that's why hence the, the first album is We Had Hope. Uh -huh. So yeah. like right now, obviously we had that hope yeah. so we are power tripping yeah. also we're yeah. traveling back you know um we're taking the sound to the 90s also yeah. and the future yeah. you know it's one thing like the yeah. future and the past for me it's one thing because yeah. it always comes back yeah what's the first track on power trip young OG. Which, young OG, yeah. that's right so <laughs> why 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 that as an intro um well i say intro loosely but yeah. why that as a first song um, wh why that young OG? You know, like a lot of people right now call And us the sampling is nice there yeah. as well. Yeah. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Cultured. Oh, we're like, not culture. Uh, mm. A lot of kids call us old oh, <coughs> man. Ah, you are, guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, oh, that I want a beard. You're yeah. going to be a hot man. You know? <laughs> so, in terms of the song Young OGs, is that, man? On some, okay. We are young OGs. We yeah. actually say, okay. Call us we, we are taking yeah. this day begrudgingly. You know? We are but, taking but put so the young day. Day. Yeah. Put the young <laughs> before the OG. Don't play that. Don't play that. But for real though, and, I, and I'm saying young OG on a serious tip because to be an OG, that's also <clears throat> like a certain thing you have to have also. Like you have to gain all this experience of the game. It's crafting. Yeah. Like, you know, you really have to earn it. Yeah. Yeah. So I know for sure, like one day we're going to be OGs, but for now we're taking it and we're saying we are young OGs. And yeah. even, you know, uh, the gang gang is saying Velo really hot man, so yeah. they know that. Yeah. So we just wanted to open it with our position right now, yeah. Nah? And say this is who we are, this is where we at right now, and we accept it, yeah. And this is where we're going. Yeah. Why did you accept it? And I'll, I'll tell you why I'm asking. Like you say, that to be labeled an OG, whether young or old, mm -hmm. um, to be labeled an OG, you've earned certain stripes. True story. 
crafted certain mm. things. You've gone through fire. Yeah. You know, it, that's how you become yeah. an OG yeah. um, outside of the music. But why did you guys accept it? What made you feel like because we from, are worthy of this title? You know, from um, our side, right? We've helped a lot of kids in the hood. We are one of the people who like are Like on the come up? Yeah, on okay. the come up. Uh, we are one of the peoples that are responsible for getting people together. Me, my thing is I get people together, producers, artists and whatnot, you know. So we've been helping people in the studio, crafting people, making beats, mixing everything. You know what I mean? Like we're guiding, guiding these kids. Yo, don't do this, do that. When you drop a song, hit up Us Ban Ban with PR and whatnot, you know mm. what I mean? So that actually makes you a Krotman OG yeah. kind of, okay. you know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. you yeah. ask, are you out here guiding these kids to do the right thing. Yeah. yeah. Is it tough guiding um, the youngins? As they call themselves is a tough because they've got their mind of their own True. Yeah. they really and True. and i know even when i was young yeah. my mom thought i was like a delinquent you know, <laughs> she's like, what is yeah. wrong with you this is a yeah. simple rule follow it you know yeah. Yeah. why yeah. are you why why do you always have to have a mind of your own is it tough because you have your own references yeah. you have your own way of doing things and then these young ones are everywhere they're buzzing yeah. and they don't care no man, i want it this way you know so is it tough guiding them? It, it kind of is. I mean, I look at it like this, né? and I was thinking about this, and I was talking to, to my little brother about this the other day. Pac, in 1994, 95, yeah. he was saying the OGs must sit down. <laughs> right now, when we think about it, he yeah, like a very, very OG. Mm -hmm. But Pac, not that like, yeah. he was just saying, yo, yeah. the OGs, it's over. Yeah. It's, it's young homies yeah. now. Yeah. They're doing this. Y'all need to sit down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like that with every era every generation or whatever I think they feel they are more advanced because yeah. now they have more information yeah. uh, they have I mean, access these to ones and have digital these ones are worse they can yeah. record themselves so when you yeah. tell them you're recording it badly they're like what are you saying yeah, yeah. you know but what i mean they bang also it. is um ogs don't care about the kids another you thing know, the problem yeah. with, with ogs that's why there's this thing of ogs beefing with the with the kids mm. they don't guide them it's too they trappy ex they expect the way I hate they that. expect the youngins to know everything about them mm. how are they gonna know everything about you if you never schooled them and why do you get angry if they don't know give them information and you're like terrible them. on social media so you know? the easiest way to find anyone right now is social media yeah. Yeah. so if an og does not have presence on social media even if that guy guy or girl would have loved your sound yeah. they actually don't know about you yeah. the problem with the ogs they act above like they act like as if they are above everything well, one like they're like passive. yeah like their <laughs> era is gatekeepers. yeah <laughs> like their era is the most golden era yeah. like this could be a golden era when we look back and yeah. we suspect copia that so yeah. so what i'm saying is really they need to open up yeah like say okay cool we see you this is dope. This is crazy. This is some new stuff yeah. that you're adding. You make it way like this, you don't but, understand it. Yeah, but everything has a foundation. Yeah. But you the know? thing is also, a hard for cut, and yeah. the thing is also, the OGs only care about when they see that kid blowing up. They saw this kid like three months ago, they didn't care. They're but now when you, when you blow up now, it's like, hey, Donna, what's up? Mm. Instead of like helping that kid. Like, kids are crazy. They don't yeah. care till everybody they cares. They say the most thing. dumbest-ish <laughs> on social media, <laughs> and then... The OGs are going to be, oh, and, keep and do the worst, I mean, yeah. really. And, and and I suppose it's, it's it's always about bridging the gap. And as you guys morph into these OG status, it's always about <laughs> it's always about minding the gap because I, I I've had this even with my friends that we are so precious about the 90s and early 2000s mm, type sure. of sound mm, and music sure. that we are not opening ourselves up for new music. Yeah. So trap might be horrible to other people, mm. you know, and it's okay for you not to like it. Yeah, I don't true. like every single genre, sure. you know, and I'm pretty eclectic, but I know that there's yeah. genres that I just don't mess with, you yeah. know. Um, but even there, that as, as it may be, if a rave song is playing and it's not my cup of tea, I have no grounds to say it's trash. Yeah. I have no grounds to say that's not okay. Yeah. And I think the biggest problem right now is exactly that. Yeah. People of yesteryears, whether they were rapping or singing, mm. when they look now, they feel like it's substandard music. Mm. And maybe to put you on the spot. Mm. Is there a lot of music that is substandard right now that it almost, you almost say, yeah, but that comment is justified. I can see why a person would say this music is substandard. You know, like, um, people love drama, like, honestly speaking. If you don't like something, don't <laughs> Move follow on! it. Don't follow it. <laughs> Like you, you. If I, I don't like someone, yeah. I don't follow that person because I might switch up and trip and just sure. and take away not Joe. 
F you, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So just let it go. Yeah. Let it go. It's, it's that simple. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, people need to open up more. That's what I'm saying. Like, once you get into another person's world, that's when you discover things you didn't even know. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they could discover things also from you. Yeah. yeah. So right now, it's just that, you know, groups are separated. So, you know, you wouldn't give yourself a chance to go listen to a trap artist or whatever. I don't know, you know? But if you go in there and you understand why they're doing that. It's like, I'm saying this because when we got to the label, we didn't, we understand, didn't understand trap at all. Yeah, but then sitting <laughs> sitting down with, with, with uh, people like Saudi and whatnot, mm -hmm. like when they explain it, it's interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. You start seeing that this is a serious thing. They take it serious. It's not a thing that's just passing by. Yeah. You hate well, what well, you don't know. Yeah, and then, yeah. You don't have to even you like know, you it, but you, you can understand, understand it. But you can yeah. understand it and respect it. Well, well, and a little while, like when I look at it, they also borrow from who they borrow from from Batubakar. Yeah. So you know, it, it depends, man. Also on the characters of these artists, yeah. you know, that that matters also, like big time. So what's on the horizon? Power Trip is out. Um, you guys have been pushing it since last week. Yeah. What's on the horizon? What are we looking forward to when it comes to Benchmark? Yo, I'm thinking more videos this time around. Sure. Uh, also, Young OG video dropping Friday. Ah. Yeah. So right now, it's all about pushing Benchmark. You know, like we've been saying uh, via being out of a record label, the work is harder now because it's us. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have to take my call. Yeah, yeah, yeah true story. You know what I mean? I gotta be like on some, yo, I need to answer yeah. this, I need to. But it's it's really fun, it's dope. Yeah. If this thing is not gonna blow up, it's us. Because mm. yeah. the music is dope. Yeah. So we're gonna make yeah. sure this thing gonna blow up. Cool. Yeah, and plus right now we're building our own little small team, you know? Yeah. So I feel like everybody that's involved right now in pushing this album, like the rollout is going, is going to make sense this time because mm -hmm. we're adding more hands and more yeah. help and everything, you know, to make sure that it's a success. Like, we just want to do that, yeah. be that case study. These guys did it, yeah. like, and independent like yeah. that. And they made, also, if they do deals, it made sense yeah. for an independent person to do that type yeah. of stuff. So, yeah, we're just aiming for the sky this time. Like. And, I mean, this would then be a question before the push. Yeah. How did you guys choose your collaborators? How did you guys choose you're working with what are you doing how did you guys choose that you know i think it was like um you know when you like an artist you know what this person can sound on the song like this and mm -hmm. whatnot because like that's why we we do collabos some people do collabos for clout yeah we do collabos for that person to add spices on the song yeah. you know it's it's inspiring to actually hear kidex rapping like that because mm -hmm. uh, he's been doing um it's kind of mm. whatnot, you know, but we know him from way back, right? Yeah, like yeah. that. So, sure. like, you know what? We need Kirex on this song, and he delivered, you know what I mean? So, as other artists on some, you know, this song, this feels like we need a big star verse. Mm. Yeah. This song feels like, you know, not for cloud, let's get someone so that we can trend. Yeah. Mm. No, it's not that. Yeah. yeah, people knowing about stuff, you know, even if you were to get one artist for cloud, let's say me, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I can't yeah. seem to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. for that matter. <laughs> um, but even when you when you get people like that to push, it, it's almost like a, a an entryway mm -hmm. for the bigger and mm. fuller of project. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. No, cloud is very important lately, Vela. Like. However you use it, you know. I mean, getting cancelled is is the best marketing tool lately. Yeah. Mm. Getting cancelled tomorrow, That's so getting terrible, deals. guys. Please don't get cancelled. No, I'm I trying to it. get cancelled. You, you know why? <laughs> no, you're gonna get famous <laughs> first of all, and then <laughs> yes, <laughs> now everybody knows you. Yeah. Yes, so I'm trying to yo, y'all trying to cancel Benchmark? Just do it. Do it right <laughs> tomorrow, t tonight. And you know when we tell them to do that, they're not gonna. Yeah, do that. you see. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be like, oh, but, we love you guys too much. Oh, young OGs. But okay. yeah, th this is what I'm saying. That that's how the culture is moving right now. The sure. more you get cancelled, the more you get new deals. The yeah. more your numbers go up. The more people are asking questions. The more talkability. Mm. That's what it is about being an artist in the game. You're fighting for talkability. You're fighting for eyeballs. Mm. Mm. It's just that, like constant. Contraction span your motor for 10 seconds has to be on you at yeah. least. Yeah. And then they move on to the next thing, they swipe up. Yeah. That's what we're doing right now. And I, and I suppose it goes back to um, any publicity is good publicity. Yeah. Um, Pretty especially much. with the cancelling culture, right? Yeah. But are there no other tools for creating that talkability? Are there no other tools than. I mean, that's so Ish. violent, guys. Cancellation is so yeah. violent. Yeah. Yeah. I am you know, like, not for it. Like, honestly, honestly speaking, hard. right? You could do something dope, right? Yeah and say something that somebody doesn't agree with. Yeah. Instead of educating that person on something, you don't Instead say cancer. things like this. Yeah. We are cancer at the same time. <laughs> yes. You know, it really doesn't make sense. And yeah. you see like a lot of people that cancel people, 
that for example, I don't want to mention names, right? Yeah. yeah, let me not mention names. Let's say I mean, C. you're welcome to, but don't. Yeah, it's fine, yeah. it's okay, it's fine. <laughs> Let's say SIPO out here, they're yeah. trying to cancel SIPO. Yeah. Everyone is going to go to SIPO yeah. and cancel SIPO, yeah. right? But some people, because they don't like people that cancel people, they start viewing SIPO's things, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Get into an ascent a bit yeah. more. and then they like what they see yeah. now. They I mean, Meg G is probably... I'm actually trying to talk about Meg <laughs> G, you know what I mean? <laughs> You know Meiji I mean? is probably, you know, the poster child of yeah. you can get back up from cancellation, yes. probably. And the yeah. content is actually dope. Yeah. You Cancel know? culture gets you famed up on Sundown featuring Kid X. That's what I say. That's yeah. Dope. That's what it is. Like, that's what it is. And yeah. then right now, what you're saying, can you do it another way in a positive way? No. That's Ooh. just the culture right now. We are now. that vile? Yes. Yeah. It has, be like, it has become wow. that. Wow. We have it's become crazy, that man. as a people right now. Crazy. And it's just working. Yeah. So you didn't tell me who's cameoing on Young Oji. Well, I don't just who's there. That's because you gotta watch. Yeah, you gotta but watch I get what you are telling me now, ah, so that I, I can look forward to that okay, person. Okay, okay. There's, there's, there's yeah. two superstars there. Yes, let me yes. Tell you. The benchmark. Let me tell you. That's for the two me. superstars yeah. there. Bore me to death. They're gonna get shot by me. Like send me off this balcony. No ways. So yeah, that's that's what you gonna see. Yeah. That voice. Yeah. Same life. Life. <laughs> Benchmark Jenny guys um, uh, in the studio. Yeah, it's a studio. I mean, really. Make sure that you catch this interview on KFM 95.9. Go to our website. It will be there. Um, and then we are going live, of course, on a Friday talking mostly about Power Trip. <laughs>